A supply chain career and you, is it a good fit? That's what we're talking about this week, coming right up. So I've had loads of questions recently on the channel about supply chain careers and they revolve around, oh, I've got a degree in this, I've got education in this, is that suitable? I just want to put that aside for a moment because it's far too hard for me to give advice on specific degrees and universities and courses. There are so many around the world. It depends where you, where you live, where you have access to education, the sort of career that you want to get into. I'd like to talk more generally this week about supply chain careers and the characteristics, the attributes that maybe you need to have for those careers and if it's really for you. So let's kick it off and run through a few things. So first of all, there are loads and loads of different types of jobs in supply chain. If you've just just Google it, you know, you've got operational type jobs, you've got um, finance type jobs, analytics, um, you've got planning, you know, all kinds of career paths that you can adopt in supply chain. And what's really cool about supply chain, I think, is that you can kind of move between different types of roles as your career progresses. So there's a huge breadth uh, of different types of roles that you can get into. But I think there's a few characteristics that all supply chain roles have. So if you're thinking of a supply chain career, think about these and if it feels right for you. I'd say, number one, it's definitely not a nine to five job working in supply chain. If you love routine and same thing, you know, day in, day out, that's really not supply chain. Uh, supply chain is really about problem solving a lot of the time. So the routine stuff, when it works, it's great, but there's always issues happening. I mean, supply chain's been in the news so much over the last couple of years. You know, there are international shipments that are going to be late. You, you know, shipping costs are going up or down. Uh, there's always some something to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis in supply chain. So if you really like that variety and the problem solving element, you're probably well suited to supply chain. Another thing that I think is really interesting, and it's probably the same for many different industries as well, is that supply chain in particular, I think is always on a path of continuous improvement. A little bit like manufacturing to that extent. Um, there's competitive pressure, there's, there's always pressure to try and keep costs down, to try and improve service. Uh, I mean, we've seen over the last couple of years the uh, huge um, uptake of home deliveries and site deliveries and so on in supply chain, massive changes in our supply chains. Um, and it's always about trying to improve service while at the same time trying to contain or minimize cost. So I think that is one really interesting element of supply chain, that there's always opportunities to do things better. Um, and, and there are all sorts of tools, you know, getting the right KPIs and benchmarking and so on to enable us to do that. The third element I think that's really important in a supply chain career is people and teams. At the end of the day, we don't do all this as individuals, um, depending on what level you are in the organization. You've got to be used to working in teams, managing teams, and that's a great um, element, I think, of working in supply chain, that, that whole sort of team structure and, and being able to, to work with brilliant people and achieve great things. So people is a key one. If you're into tech, that's another great opportunity in supply chain. Um, whatever part of the supply chain that you look at these days, you know, there's AI being used and robotics, just continual improvements in tech, which is really fascinating. Um, and so you could come at a supply chain career from that tech perspective, for example. Uh, and then another element of supply chain that I'd like to mention, which I find particularly interesting, is sustainability and the circular economy. So, you know, that's another great area of supply chain to get into. How can we recycle better? How can we uh, get used products returned and back through the manufacturing process and all the way back through the supply chain, you know, minimizing carbon footprint and all those sort of elements of, of the supply, supply chain. Sustainability and the circular economy um, is, is really a booming area in supply chain as well. So that's kind of what I wanted to share this week. It's not about the qualifications and, and which degree you've got. I think it's about where your interests lie, uh, what, what particular attributes of supply chain attract you, uh, you know, your, your own sort of personal characteristics and motivations. There's a huge opportunity, I think, in supply chain to, to really get into all of those different elements. Um, it is definitely not 
a nine to five job. If that's what you want, I wouldn't get into supply chain. Maybe you've got, if you've been in supply chain for a while yourself, do comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what makes supply chain really interesting and what makes it a really great career. Thanks for watching.